Hey guys, this is the new AMR4 MK1, or the cheapest model of the new Airsoft Mega Store Armory line of M4s. Uh, this is their full sized M4 carbine. The barrel's actually a little bit longer, but um, it comes with a, uh, a silver 300 round high cap capacity magazine. There's a two piece handguard instead of a quad rail, and I got it connected to a 8.4. Gun chug battery. Um, now, when you disassemble this gun, as soon as you pull out the front receiver pin, that's all you have to do to separate the upper and lower receivers. Here's the upper, and here is the lower. The stock comes off by pulling down on the adjuster instead. Just pull down, it slides right off. Carrying handle comes off to review that reveal the flat top rail. It's also, it's metal, as well as the outer barrel. A couple parts are metal. Clip mag release, just on the other side, but. Alright, um, charging handle's metal too. Now, when this, when you pull it out and the charging handle comes out, don't worry. It just grips, it loops onto the front of your slide, your blowback slide. Simulates the actual blowback of an M4. Um, your bolt release does not have to come out, but it can, just by pushing down and up. AMR trademarks. Um, to get the gearbox free, these two screws, I don't think you can see it in there, but that loosens the cap and then that will be connected to the motor. Gearbox is very solid. I've been having problems where the battery will lose connection because of the, the connectors a little loose where they connect. But yeah, uh, if you want to do a gearbox disassembly and all that, it'll be pretty similar to the other ones. Although I'm sure this is their own gearbox. It does not look like they bought it stock, or they, it looks like they built their own. Once you detach the gearbox from the buffer tube and the motor from the grip, this pin pushes out and it should come free. But uh, it's semi-automatic. It works really good. The slide is very sturdy. It cycles well. I don't like dry fire, but... You cannot separate the upper and lower receivers completely because of the wires that run from the gearbox to the battery power and the MOSFET. They run through the um, the O-ring or whatever. They run inside of there. So you kind of can't separate it unless you want to cut them off or detach your MOSFET. I'm not sure what you're planning to do, but you should be able to pull your barrel right out. Just grip it by the uh, feed tube that the magazine sit, sets itself in. Pull out. It's die cast. It's tight bore 6.03, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nice. It's similar to all M4s, but I like mine. It, it shoots 25 super far, about 20, 60 yards accurate, accurately hit a person at 60 yards with this and um yeah the hop up's not special but may need some adjusting but once it's all the way up it locks right there and I'll tell you what you can get some range out of this it's real nice it's definitely a lot more fun than a BB gun but it's still not the real thing but uh, enjoy like comment subscribe Give me ideas. If you want to see something else, I can show you how to put it back together. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.